Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we're graphing cosine of 2x. Now cosine of curve is relatively easy. It starts at 1 and it goes down to 0 and finish at 2 pi. Now cosine of, if this is y, then this curve is cosine of y with no modulation in the front. When we put a coefficient here, 2, in front of the variable, then the curve gets shrinking or stretched, depending on whether the coefficient is bigger than 1 or uh, smaller than 1. The best way to do this one, to do the graph or get a feel for it, is through a plot. So let's put a, a random variable m, and then the cosine of m here, and I'll see how it fits in there. Whenever there's a coefficient, and it kind of reminds me of uh, listening to my husband's story of his uh, frat house days, uh, describing his friends have Hanover. Okay, this is how we write it in Chinese. The reason that it reminds me that is when you have a Hanover, your speech pattern changes. You either speak really, really fast, or you kind of draw out, speak slowly. Well, the same thing with our cosine curves. If we let m is equal to 2x, then x is equal to m over 2. Okay, so far, let's put this one as m. We already have that curve in there. So I have a pi over 2. When m is equal to pi over 2, x is equal to pi over 4. Okay, cosine of m at pi over 2 is 0. Cosine of 0 at um, m equal to 0, cosine m is 1, and then here is still 0. So as you can see already, this one is shifted or squeezed in there. Next point over here is pi. When m equal to pi, I have a minus 1 for the curve, but then x is actually pi over 2. Okay. 3 pi over 2, I have a 0 for cosine m, but then over here, the value itself is actually a uh, let's see, divided by 2, so it's uh, 3 pi over 4. As you can see, for the cosine of a 2x, we have to go a little further out. 2 pi here, I only have a pi, and this one gives me a positive 1. Okay, so let's draw these two curves together. Okay, this is the x column, and this is the cosine m curve. So basically, I have, I have the values in there. So. When x is equal to 0, I have a 0, I have a 1. Next one, when x is equal to pi over 4, I have a 0. So pi over 4 is squeezed down. And then when I pi over 2, I have a 1, minus 1. And 3 pi over 4, I have a 0. So this one got squished. Okay, so this is only at pi. I already finished one period. So this is a cosine of 2x, and this one is x. It's going to go on like that. Now in a normal curve, at a 2 pi, we barely finished 1. So this curve looks like that. So there's a little off here. Okay, so at 2 pi, the curve barely finished all the way. When you have a cosine of 2x, it's got squished together. So maybe think of uh, this curve as getting nervous. So kind of like when I'm getting nervous, I speak very fast. So this is a nervous curve. This is a regular curve. All right? Hope that helps. And send you requests for any Chinese characters to my channel. And next time, I'll try to make it into a math video to make it a fun. Don't forget to like this video, and until next time, have a confident day.